hi everyone welcome back to my channel i know i haven't been around a lot recently but i am back i'm on a ma marathon filming day today so i've got some really good stuff coming up for you also what will be up either before this or just after this is this fresh makeup look using some nice new products that i got in boots the other day so um yeah, if you want to see a couple of the products I'm going to be talking about today in action, then feel free to have a look at that video. So, as you can see today, I'm going to be talking about my favourites, but kind of the new stuff that I've bought, not kind of old school favourites. I'm going to be talking about everything that's really new, really current, um, and things that you might have seen other people talking about, um, but you haven't heard me talk about it yet. So... I'm just going to get straight on with it and start off with my first product. The very first thing that I think I should talk about are the Maybelline lipsticks that I've been going mental for. Um, I've got four shades of them and these are the Maybelline Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencils. These are basically the copies of the NARS ones. Um, I when I saw these I saw swatches of them compared to um, a NARS one I think it was red square I think it was um, compared to and they're literally the same I have gone and tried out a NARS one on a counter and for me they are slightly better quality I do find that these are a little bit more drying than the NARS ones however for the price difference I put it straight back because I was like well no the Maybelline ones are absolutely fine so, I've actually got a mix of two colours on my lips right now. Um, I've got um, uh. So, I've got a bit of a combo between Nude Perfectionist, which is the um, Kylie, Kylie, Kylie Jenner-esque lip. Um, and I've got it mixed with a little bit of Red Essential. And you can see that this is, like, brand new. Um, and it's this lovely red shade. Let me just swatch the Nude one for you. Um, and then I've got another red, which is um, a little bit, a little bit brighter. This is Light It Up. So it's kind of a bit more of a true red. Just this one. I think it was this one that I saw that was compared to the NARS one, actually. And then the last one that I have is Very Much. Um, this one went a bit funny in my bag the other day, so it's a bit monkey. But I can definitely tell that my neighbours are like, oh, who's the crazy girl with her crazy camera again? They used to always watch me film and <laughs> they're like, oh, she's back. She's doing her weird stuff again. Anyway, don't care. I've been absolutely loving those. They're always in my handbag. They're just brilliant to carry around with you. They, As I say, they are a little bit more drying than the NARS ones. They're not quite as velvety, but um, for, I think they're like five pounds, they are absolutely the best bargain that's out there at the moment. I want to try some of the lighter pink colours as well. Normally, I don't really like lighter pink colours. I don't think it suits me. But um, I think for the sake of it, I'm going to try out a few because I, I just want to buy the whole collection, to be honest. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Stick with the lip theme. And it's this brand new... I haven't seen anybody kind of talk about these. And it's the Jelly High Shine Lips from Barry M. This is actually coming out a little bit more orangey. It's coming out like the same colour of my as my jumper but it's not um and it's this really nice well it's like an orangey red shade and it is like high shine um lip crayon but it's really nice it's as i say it's got a really nice shine um finish to it but it doesn't feel slippy like it's gonna that you worry about getting on your teeth or anything like that you literally it puts on it you put it on and it will just stay there kind of like not sets because you, it's not heavy on the lips or anything like that but it just kind of just sits really nicely and you are good to go both of these can kind of wear a little bit when as you eat and drink but not massively they that has put me off wearing them because that both of these products are actually quite nice to apply they're not they don't drag the lips or anything like that so they're both quite nice to reapply so i don't have any worries about that you so say they're both really really nice and i got this um on offer with my next favorite which is this barium 
speedy quick nail varnish so i think i got two for seven pounds these are i think four pounds on their own everything will be linked down below in case i've got some of these figures wrong but this is in the shade pit stop this is actually what i'm wearing on my nails right now um you can see that some of them have chipped a little bit i think so this one's the worst and i did only paint these saturday um today is now monday but um so i guess they have lasted okay because there's no top coat or anything on this and it did dry literally within a couple of minutes and i a couple of my nails i did like layer on which is probably why it's chipped to be fair but um really good um i want them to come out with some more colors because at the moment they've got pastel -y colors but i'm feeling more of the red sort of berry I st i'm still kind of in that but kind of like how my lips are i kind of feel like i'm in that level but um this is a really nice yeah say like gray white shade but um very nice kind of just how all the barry m's are but it just dries really quickly so yeah happy happy with that um what should we go on to now um i know one kind of face product really and um, I'm going to be doing a blog post on this and it's just this duo fiber brush from it's the duo fiber face brush from Real Technique sorry it's a little bit filthy because I did literally just use it for this get ready with me um and I just find that this is just really nice to apply bronzer like all over bronzer it doesn't make you look muddy like I've even I'm using one that's kind of a bit I like to call it like a terracotta based bronzer as opposed to like an ashy type bronzer and I've never look, thought or like looked at myself in the mirror and thought oh I look a bit orange um, because I just find that this applies a really nice amount to the cheeks and what I sort of tend to do is I just put it where you would generally contour but I, it's sort of a bit, bit more of a bronzy emotion as opposed to sculpting and I just find that it works really well. I, I've got kind of maybe about three or four other duo fibre brushes and I might have used them once and thought, mm. like either the the bristles have kind of been a bit too I don't know like what's the opposite of dense undense sparse sparse I think all the other ones have been a bit too sparse and they kind of haven't really done a lot for me whereas this is just a really nice one for powder um I'd probably use it um for normal face powder as well because I don't think you'd ever get that cakey look with this um, and I just think it's really nice for that because I'm not trying to be over bronze because we are still in like the cold months I mean it did snow last week but um, I, it's just nice to get that nice sort of colour into your cheek so I've been really loving this not a brush that I ever thought I would like so yeah and um, I've got some eye products actually now these are these aren't new to the market they're just new to me i got these for christmas and these are the shoe and mirror eyelash curlers i've got hooded eyes i've got quite little eyes as well so any kind of eyelash helps eyelash curler helps me out that makes my eyes look um bigger and makes me feel a bit more confident about my lashes because i've got quite short stubby lashes um i've used eyelash curlers before and they as i say anything kind of helps my eyelashes these are just a whole nother level i'm so glad i've got these i think i must have got a limited edition ones because these are the charette it's got a little oh it's carl langerfield for shiramura i've got no idea what that is but it's got a little oh you're not gonna focus are you here we go um it's got a little cat on it but um yeah these are really nice and they're just brilliant i would never go back to cheap eyelash colors ever again and then just some other little white bits, obviously what everyone's been going on about. Um, this is the Brow Archery by Soap and Glory. I've actually had this quite, for quite a while. I think I must have got this day at launch because I hadn't heard anyone talk about it. The one that I had heard people talk about was the um, one with the felt tip that I think was Zoella liked. And everyone was kind of going mad for that. And But I don't know, I didn't really like it. But I did want to go have a look to see what other Soap and Glory things were about. And as I say, that one has was actually sold out so even if I did want it I wouldn't be able to get it but then I saw this and picked it up and then literally within the next couple of weeks everyone went mental for it and I was like oh I'm so glad I picked it up then because I would never have put my hand on this hands on this now um this is in hot chocolate and this is just the one where you've got a spoolie on one end 
and uh, like a waxy pencil on the other and it's absolutely perfect you don't well generally I don't even need a I could do this without a mirror I could just sort of just brush it through and be good to go really nice and the colour is really nice on this as well for me um, for darker head gals um, obviously I don't have the sort of blonde one would fare um, and then um, a mascara this is by Yves Rocher and it's called the sexy pulp oh i didn't know it's called that <laughs> um the sexy pulp mascara i used i think i got a little version like this in a glossy box once but i never tried it i never kind of i don't know it just didn't really appeal to me for some reason i think and then um i think my f how did i get my hands on this i've got a funny thing someone gave this to me but anyway what i've been loving is with these and this i'll show you the brush I've been getting amazingly long lashes. You can just, it's really nice bristle brush. You see how big that is as well compared to my eye. Like, it's really big, but it actually works. Normally big brushes, I can be a bit like, can be a bit hit or miss on me as I say, because I've got little eyes. This is just really good. It's so lengthening. Separating but volumising at the same time, I just can't get my head around how it works. It's really, really good. Um, as I say, this is only like the sample size, so I'm not sure on how much the big version would be. But if I find it, I will definitely link it down below because it is a really, really good mascara. And then I've just got one skincare and one hair thing to show you. Now, I've got a new shampoo. Oh, is it this that's leaking? This is just by Boots Own Brand. This is the Anti Dandruff Expert Shampoo something that people don't talk about is dandruff on here but anyway um i get dandruff quite badly i've got a sensitive sc scalp 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 i've got a sensitive head and basically i think i heard brogan talking about this range it's not cheap it is like five six pounds but she says that it's been really good for her sensitive head as well so i thought i would pick up the dandruff one because i've tried all different things i've used kind of like the standard like heads and shoulders i've used tea gel i've used more expensive ones and they they kind of work for a while they just don't work for a long time and i've been trying this ever since she mentioned it before christmas and um i think it must have been yeah and i've been really liking this um it's obviously where it is kind of for sensitive heads it doesn't it hasn't got a nasty fragrance to it it's not anything amazingly special kind of scent or like texture wise it's nothing like that but it just works if you've got dandruff or sensitive problems so yeah really liking that um and that was actually the only one that was left i would have bought another one but there was only one left so i'm gonna have to go back when there's some more um, and then the very last thing, oh no, is this that's been leaking, like a move fit. Anyway, this is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. You can see that this actually isn't new to me. I kind of cheated on this. I lost sight of what I was doing when I was in my bathroom. This is just so good. This removes all your makeup. It's really nice for sensitive eyes. I've never had an irritation. It's got quite a nice... It's chamomile, so it's it's not a strong kind of like offensive scent. It's just quite, it's just nice. Like it's just non-offensive, standard floral, but not like over floral scent. Um, and it it just works. It just melts off your makeup. I have this on the side of the bath, so I just splash my face. Obviously, like a pump for, pump and half of this between my hands, and kind of goes over. It kind of kind of like not foams but like soaps up and is really really nice texture and it, you can just really massage it in and you can feel it working my skin has never felt so soft or moisturized it's it's definitely worked wonders for me and my skin so yeah that's a really good one um as i say i think that was a little bit cheating on that because that's not really new but i am still loving it um I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about. I think I've rambled on quite a lot. Um, but yeah, there's some new things that I've been loving. I'm still loving my lips. Still got the orange lips there, so you know, I'm not I'm not completely gone. But um, yeah, I hope you like that. Let me know down below if you've tried anything else that's new from the drugstore or high end and you've been loving anything I would. And I will speak to you very soon. Thanks guys, bye.